All right, y'all, before we start this sweet, sweet tier list video, we need to have a heart to heart. If you're looking to play Epic 7 on your PC, you gotta be using LD Player, guys. It's a free Android emulator to play mobile games on PC with mouse and console, provides some of the faster performance for Android gaming, as well as low resource usage, and supports various Windows systems and most popular apps and games. So do yourself a favor and support Car at the same time by using my free download link in the description below or in the pinned comment. What's going on, y'all, and welcome on in. You're about to watch Valky and I's RTA tier list. We're doing it a little bit early this time. We're probably going to do another one at the end, but we wanted to get y'all a tier list before this uh, June or May balance patch hits in about a week and a half, two weeks, That the one that features DJ Bazaar, Alencia Shu, all those other units. But this is just our general purpose tier list. It's community made, so it's my community, as well as most of Twitch. Uh, a lot of different Twitch community members follow into there as well. Make sure y'all stop by, come hang with us. You can help influence the next tier list as well if you come hang. Um, but yeah, it's a general purpose if you just it's for the average player to take a look and kind of realize or see who we consider to be in the meta ranked in order per se. It's not perfect. If you need doesn't make the cut, it doesn't mean they're they're bad or anything. They're, they just might be more niche or fit a specific play style. We wanted to list out the general purpose. Just take a look. These units are worth investing in. They're more solid. They're more safe, whatever it might be. On top of that, guys, make sure you all stay tuned to the end because we do make predictions based on we're going to add some info on where we think the newer units that are getting buffed fall in line. So once again, stop by the Twitch stream if y'all have a chance. I have players that are top three legend in there. I have players that are silver, bronze, gold, and I got input from all of them. And we came together and made this tier list for y'all. So hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, stay tuned till the very end. YouTube. Let me let, let me play the music for the Twitch viewers. YouTube, we got a out of order. Valk and I are doing a kind of late to end season, mid to late season tier list for y'all and uh it was quite spicy we actually not that much rioting here on twitch chat so make sure y'all join us but i'm joined of course with valky valk go ahead and introduce yourself they already know you though from the previous tier list oh yeah yeah how, how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing good yeah so uh i think the main decision is just kind of driven by the fact that um every single season we're going to have a different frenzy so normally we like to do this at the end of the season, just kind of give you guys a very complete picture of what the season looked like. But, you know, going into the off season, it's very likely that the frenzy are go is going to change. So no more plus 15 Soul Weaver speed. Uh, the game's going to look pretty different with that. And in fact, the game looks pretty different now. So just before the end of the season, while, you know, everybody's thinking like, maybe I do my end of season climb, uh, we just kind of want to put the content out there a little bit earlier and just yep. help people out. And on top of that, boys, we have the units that are going to be buffed next or two weeks, a week and a half. And we might slot in our predictions, me and me, Valks, and Twitch Chat's predictions on where they're going to end up if we have time at the end. So, Valk, let's go ahead and get started so maybe we can get to that. If you want to kindly explain to them the orders and just let's start with S tier. What does that mean for the players? What is S rank? Yeah, so I, I would say like an S tier unit is basically a unit where uh, the moment this unit comes out, right, you have to find a way to deal with it. And if you don't deal with this unit, uh, either through your own like S tier unit that counters them or uh, just completely playing around their mechanics, um, you are going to lose. Mm -hmm. Like it's very likely. All right. So let me go ahead and shout them out real fast. This is a Conquer Lilius, Hua Young, Ran, Amelia, Dien, Para, AOL, Ravi, and Hangai. Most of y'all watching, if you're super new, you still probably know who these are because they're always talked about a lot of disasters. But if you notice... Some of the other previous disasters may have gone down a little bit, guys. And in my chat, I don't want to give them too much credit, but we had a lot of big, big names, high rank players, but everyone was able to give their input to formulate this tier list. So let me ask the Twitch chat and Valk, are we all good on S row? I think uh, everyone yeah, here is good on good. I think everyone's good on S, right? Twitch chat, just mm -hmm. shout it out if you're not, but we kind of went through this all. I think they're good. Um, Valk, take us through the A rank row. So I would say A rank is kind of like units that can really help synergize with these S rank units. And um, the, the one thing in particular is that most of these units, right, have very limited amount of weaknesses that can be exploited. And um, they, they definitely like what you're looking to do is take an S unit or two, right? And then build like build a core team with an A rank unit and then like use the rest of these units to kind of like fill out the spots or fill out like counter picks your opponent's draft well said well just to clarify the last unit i said hangai this is actually <laughs> mediator cool work oh my god okay we actually moved bellion down a tier just because um as valk mentioned this is the a rank tier so the units are bellion spectre tenebria fallen cecilia ida rimaru Paladis, arch demons shadow 80 meru 
uh, Lion Heart Sermia, Solitaria, Landy, Operator Cigarette, Troublemaker Croza, and Assassin Sid. Valk, we comfortable with this row? Twitch chat, we okay with A? This is the one right below S. And, guys, for you YouTube watching, S and A are ordered. We kind of took a lot of um, effort to order them left to right. And then from then on out, it's more vague. So, for B, C, and D, kind of just pay attention to, like, the first... The first and last ones are sort of with a little bit of thought in mind. Everything else, very vague, okay? So don't pay attention too much left to right besides S and A, the top two. Anything else we want to talk about on A rank, uh, Valk? Uh, no, I, I think that's kind of like our very complete thought with it. Okay, and I think chat's good too. All right, B rank, and I'm going to say all these names. Valk, what is the B rank row? I would say like B rank is kind of where you would see an average unit, right? So if you look at something like... Uh... Like if you just think about like a very standard DPS, right? I think Carrot is a very standard DPS. Crow is a, is a very average knight. Uh, like if you think about cleave defense unit, right? Uh, your average cleave defense, like ball rem, right? So like they wouldn't be considered like that, like, like whoa, but like they would be considered very average and very solid there. Okay, I'm gonna speed through these guys. Just say them their names out real fast. Arya, designer little bit, closer Charles, uh, Kowarik, Flan, Pavel. Adventure Raz, Little Queen Charlotte, is it Summer? What is it? Uh, I always forget her name, guys. Seaside Iceria? Uh, Summer Iceria? Summertime Iceria. Summertime Iceria. Uh, Shadow Knight Phyllis, Pillis, Seaside Bologna, Kisei, Remnant Violet, Rem, Sage Ball, and Sezen. We got Rowana, um, Bloodblade Karen, Arbiter Vildred, Watcher Shuri, Ruel, Milim, which is a different, this is actually her artifact icon, Destina, uh, Strays, Crow. Specialty. I was gonna say specialty change carrot. What's it? Researcher carrot. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Vildred, yep. Spirit Eye, Celine, Armin, and Celine. Okay, guys. This is the row that had everything. Chat. Speak now, forever. Hold your peace. Twitch chat. You guys helped make this. Are we good with the B rank row? I need a lot of y'all if we're gonna move something. But I think everyone's comfortable. I think we're chilling. I think they are good. Yeah, they're nodding. Okay, Valk, take us. We're going near the bottom now. What is the C rank? What's the C rank row? So C rank kind of has this special like tag where it's a lot of units that are kind of falling off, right? Mm -hmm. But they're still very good in a specific niche, especially if the opponents don't have the tools to counter them. So if you look at something like a Judge Kisei, that was really strong um, probably about like a season ago. Uh, like Maid was really strong like a season to a season and a half ago. Uh, Falconer Clary was like always like a mainstay, right? But now she's kind of fallen off a bit. Um, you also have like green violet now with the 30% uh, damage reduction passive uh, in frenzy built in uh, green violet's a lot worse against cleave to defend against just because like he can't kill um, politus and summertime Isaria as easily uh, so stuff like um, Bryceria, right? That's a unit I like a lot and I think she's fallen off quite a bit because there are a lot of soul weavers and cleansers that's kind of creep their way into top tier. Well said, Valk. Well said. So, let's go through the names, boys. Hopefully I can get this one fast. Judge Kisei, Assassin Coley, Elena, Maid Chloe, Bazaar, Falconer Clurry, Last Rider Crow. Is his name? Is it just Sid? Just Sid. Uh, Inferno yep. Kawazu, Fire... Sh Charlotte, not Fire Charlotte. Eaton. No Eaton jokes, boys. Violet, Briarwitch Iceria, Challenger Dominial, Crimson Armin, Kron. Um, Is it just Mercedes, guys? Did she get a new name? It's Mercedes. Just Mercedes, Acades, Sinful Angelica, and Zahak. And Zahak. Damn, no eating jokes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and the very last row, boys, the Copium. The Copium row. Valk, why do we even put a D rank here? What does the D rank mean? Uh, This is just like units that definitely used to have like their own very specific niche and jobs. But now yeah. uh, they're like probably hard, hard, hard countered yeah. by certain like S and A tier units to the point where they're very hard to draft. Okay. But, it, you know, if those units like are out of the game or they're pre-banned or your opponents don't have them, right? Yeah. These units coming out on five, right? So to give an example, like Blood Moon Haze coming out on five when there's an RB or a make Chloe on the field, like, boom, that is a really good unit. I agree. And um, chat was saying, uh, I bet you a lot of YouTube viewers will also want Senya higher up. Val, do you want to elaborate just a little bit why we put Senya so low when in the past, you know, she was she was a bit more viable. So she was really, really good during Rem Violet era, which mm -hmm. was like, it's man, been that was like two seasons ago, yeah, right? And ever since like those units kind of moved out of like standard drafting and they kind of became more defense units, uh, Senya's just slowly falling off a bit more and more. 
I was saying maybe like a season ago, she was like C tier. But the moment Huayong came out, she's just units dead in the water. Like there's no way she can be like playable when Huayong's in the game. Yeah, that's the problem with units like Hua and Rimu. Okay, guys, YouTube, or sorry, Twitch chat. We all good with this? We're going to send this into them. I'll give them the image. And then I think we have plenty of time to talk about the predictions. So at the bottom here, guys, we have DJB, Haste, Alencia, Wander Silk, uh, Shu, and Momo. A-Roz is also on here, and Valk has some words about this guy who's getting buffed soon. YouTube, we're going to talk about the predictions for the balance patch coming out in a week and a half. And I got the units set up here. Valk, do you want to lead us off here? What do you predict is going to happen with these uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units we're going to talk about? Ignore this guy. Let's bring Roz down. Where is okay. it? Uh, Roz should be yeah, in our I got here. Go ahead, Valk. What are we thinking about these? Chat, make sure you all throw in your predictions too. DJB, the main one that's going to shake things up, I think. So, yeah. So, I think DJB is, like, the by far clear winner of the patch. And I think DJB is... And, and this is kind of a split opinion, right? I think he's either B, B tier, or A tier, or he's going to be S tier. I think 30% push is very significant, but yeah. unlike Dien and Amelia, right? He doesn't give attack up. But I think if you draft him specifically into FCC, uh, he's going to like bring more value than an attack up, but that's also in a very specific, like opponent must pick this for him to gain that value. So Valk's prediction is S or A, boys. Remember, these are all predictions. We have no clue exactly how things are going to pan out. Um, let's see, Chad is also saying S a bit. Mm. Uh, I, I would say he's going to be at least as good as Opsic is. Yeah, I think A is the safe pick, but I agree. I think he could potentially just be an S monster. Another disaster, mm -hmm. depending on how things pan out. It's also going to change too when, this, when the, um... The 15 speed leaves us, right? If they decide to not bring that back for the next RTA season. Yeah, that, that's very important, well. right? Yeah, so... From when he gets buffed till the end of the season, he's going to be incredibly good. And when we go into the off season and they start changing up frenzy again, God knows what they'll do, right? Yeah. Um, I think he'll he'll actually fall off like a, quite a bit more because plus fifteen speed for a thirty percent CR push. Yeah. Initiate is ridiculous. I agree. Um, guys, let's go ahead and chat. Do y'all hate this? Let's put him in bottom of S. YouTube, let us know where you would put him to. Prediction. Remember, this is just predictions. Um, so there's no real like besides what we kind of know now. It's it's all a guess. Um, does anyone disagree with bottom of S? Just prediction wise, probably ch chat's gonna put him A or S. Um, well, they actually want A, Val. What do you, how do you feel about that? A? Top uh, of A? I'm okay with either, honestly. Okay. Uh, and I think it, it kind of comes down to a playstyle difference, right? I think he's going to be able to fit in a lot of playstyles, but just like Peyra, he's going to be very flexible, but he's obviously gonna be better in certain styles compared to others. Yeah. So let's, okay, we'll be safe. We'll go A. Chat's being safe. I'm surprised. All right, Valk, we got Haste up next, who's getting um, some Rand style buffs. Defense breaks, strips, uncounterable S3. How do we feel so he's going to th pan this out? Is, this is how you know, like, the games has kind of gone too far, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, one of the common sentiments is that he's too slow with 120 base speed. 120 and I think base that's speed. Absolutely ridiculous, but I think he's at least B tier, if not A tier. I think like one tier below Ran is a very respectful like way to place him, just because like two buff strip plus defense break plus bleeds plus uncounterable. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous combination of like tools just to be having in one co consistent kit. I think Chad agrees, and they're all saying Fire Ran too. Is that going to be his new nickname, guys, moving forward? So either low A, high B, it probably doesn't matter where we put him. Um, but since it's a prediction, we'll just put him. I think more of chat today. Okay, well, let's go bottom of A. As long as he's lower tier than Ran, I think no one's going to be upset. And who knows? Mm -hmm. Let's see if the Cleavers were right or the Speed Demons were correct in that he's too slow at 120. We'll find out in two weeks. All right, guys, here. Alencia. This is the unit that everyone I interviewed has geared still because we all love her. She's kind of unique, so if you geared her before, there's not really too many places her gear can go. But she hasn't been very good since then. And her balance, actually, Valk, I don't know if you uh, reviewed the balance notes, a lot of players mm -hmm. are still not sure because Smilegate decided to decrease the damage. They made some buffs like the 100% uptime on Mind's Eye, but they actually decreased the damage on the skill one and the trample. What do you so, think, Val? What do you think about overall? What it is is that they made it more consistent at the cost of like, they probably just shaved a little bit off the top, right? Yeah. And, and I, I think she's probably a D rank to maybe a C rank unit. That's where you and think here, she's going to Here's, here's my up. argument. Yeah. Right? Her damage is literally going to be Bellion, but on one unit. 
belly granted on the she has a defense unit. break so if she lands that on something with no immunity like oh she's gonna hurt right mm -hmm. but she's only hitting one unit at a time and then only the second part of that has injury whereas if you just run an injury belly and like you're hitting four dudes she does compete uh, a lot with belly right belly also even though her strip is probably much better it's more front loaded belly also has the same kind of tools yeah that's a decent comparison um I do think like they, they did her a huge favor by uh, making her uh, like S3 give 50% CR. So she's a lot faster at just like, you know, you full, if, even if they have immunity, right? You full strip the immunity. She takes another turn, boom, punches the thing, kicks yeah. them. And then if it's like particularly not very tanky, she might just one tap them, right? Mm -hmm. So I think she <laughs> probably has a spot like between C or D, but Chad definitely is... still like a very set amount of weaknesses. Yeah, Chad is saying C. Um... This is one, guys. This is, the, this is probably the hardest prediction to do overall because of the way they're reducing her damage. But um, if she makes it to the board, guys, that's a win already. That means she's playable, right, Valk? If she makes it to C tier, that's pretty good. Yeah. That means she's going to see play where right now she sees literally none unless you love her. So yeah. I think C is fine. I hope she ends up like in B. Maybe the net damage is just overall worth it. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm expecting It's going to be more D. net damage, but I, I think what it is is that I don't think there's enough things kind of pushing her over the edge. So in yeah. my mind, she's D, but you know, I know, I understand a lot of people in the community love her because she used to be a okay. very, very good unit in like season one and season two. So let's put understandable her... if they yeah, want to yeah. just kind of hope for, for her to be better. We call that a C for Copium, boys. C for Copium, probably going to end up into the D rank. As long as she's playable, I'm happy with it. Okay, let's actually go with this one next because they're the Bruiser Sisters. We got Shu up next, guys. Chat, how do y'all feel about this one? I think more people are are predicting this is much better than Alencia's buffs. Um, she got a lot to her kit, Val. Just to highlight, uh, she's gonna get a built-in Elbrus. She gets some um, health absorption. She has higher damage overall. I believe it should be just a net positive damage like Alencia's. Um, even though one of her things did also say decreased damage. I think it was on the skill. Was it on the force chat? On the skill two, I think they they lower the damage but increase the defense pen. So it should do overall more. Val, yeah, how do you feel about this 70% damage pen, like, that, yeah. that's ridiculous. So uh, where she's do we at think? least, like, I think she's past the thing we call, like, the tipping point, right? So if you think about historically, when they buffed Fire Robbie, right? They buffed her multiple times, and there was, like, one patch that, boom, straight up pushed her over the oh, edge. Oh, I like that comparison. Um, yeah, that's true. If you think about even APOC Robbie, right? They're, like, they kept buffing her, saw no play, and then one one buff patch, right? Boom, straight up over the edge. And this is I think she's second very, very strong. Yeah. Like, kind of kind of like green Armin, if you think about it. But there's still one problem. She will die to Rimuru, and uh, oh. she will die to Landy, and she will die to Steny. Those, those are, are very popular units. units. Yeah. Okay, so where guys, everyone, I think most people agree with that sort of sentiment. Are we saying C Twitch chat or maybe? I think she's gonna be better than Alencia, boys. And if if we, she has a good matchman to Hua, it's gonna get better, I think. So, um, where do we want to place her? C. Uh, I think they're still saying C. Let's I, put her I would say like C. B. Like I think she's very solid. You you think B Valk? Mm, yeah, I, I, I want to say she's like B. Like, she's going to be very solid. Like, right. she's at least as good as Green Arm and IMO. Chat, you know what that means? That means it's going to be low B or high C. It's somewhere in between these two. Just for the sake of the predictions, let's put her above Valencia. So let's put her in bottom of B. We'll see how that pans out. Okay, I need help on this one, guys. I don't think Mason's in the chat, but Wanderer Silk. Did we have any Wanderer Silk mains out there that actually used her? Um, She got okay. a lot I, changed I, I have one kid. question for anybody that actually knows this, but yes. um, what's her base speed? Chat base speed. It's not like giga fast. Um, one twenty-two. One twenty-two. That's see Lilius base speed. She she might actually be really good then. Okay, so, um, ooh, any predict? She's a lot of people are upset. I'll just give some background info while you while everyone thinks about it. But um, a lot of people are upset that they <coughs> changed her kind of core identity. Instead of a damage dealer, she's now becoming more utility. But I think. It's very good. I understand the frustration if you if you already liked her and you had a specific style for her. But I think, guys, overall, for the sake of like her becoming better, I think they did find a better spot for her as a utility unit. Uh, chat saying it's 112 plus 10 EE, guys. 112, 112 plus, plus 10, 10 EE. That's not 122. That's like about one... Mathematically, that's like 118 or so. I, I think that's mostly okay. Um, I don't think she'll be better than... like de Depending on how this works, right? If you're a cleaver, like that's kind of just cleaving a slower player, I think Watcher's still going to be better. 
But if you're like racing with her, I think like she adds a lot of like extra X factor to the mix. Okay. So safe guys, let's do a safe prediction. I'm from what y'all are saying, and I don't play I don't I'm probably not gonna play this style of unit. Um, it's gonna be more of y'all speedsters. I feel like she could even work in maybe like a pseudo control comp. Like uh think of Cerise how Cerise used to be run, like a tempo control. But um Yeah, I I put her a little bit like below beneath Watcher Shuri. I think Watcher Shuri is like the premier speed imprint, right? So her we, advantage is she gives four more speed, but yeah. um for two units. I guess Would, she can also carry Sash, which is cool. So actually chat saying put her below Watcher Shuri but in the same row or in the same rank? B let's just put bottom of B with shoot. Somewhere here in bottom of B. I I think I'm okay with that. If everyone else is fine. Um, I'm yeah, not. I don't fun. plan to play her, so yeah, you, it, that's kind of gonna be on y'all. But I'm excited to see her. Uh, she's a great looking unit, and I would love to see more people play her. Okay, mm. we got the last two, Valk. This is one I'm gonna let you start with, even though I think I might draft him more than you eventually. Um, but yeah, go ahead and what was your thoughts? We placed him previously in like pretty high in B, like like, like mid high B, right? -high I B, think yeah. this like with the new rune that gives like his back unit a 40% shield uh, yep. to his HP. I think he's at least as good as a uh, troublemaker crows it. So what I noticed Smilegate doing is that they're making it so that knights are no longer like I pick FCC, I pick Crow, I'm turbo safe, right? Uh, every knight is going to have their strength and weaknesses, right? And yeah. that's something like these units previously didn't have. Uh, so now FCC is going to be weak into like buff strips, DJB and um, Operator Cigarette, right? Yeah. Trozid obviously can only protect one unit. Ross' weakness is that like he's kind of similar to Carmen, but he's more offensive, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. The, we bring the S2 and they even got a little quality of life S2 buff. But yeah, I like what Valk said there, guys. I think I'm on 100% agreement with the premier tanks falling off a little bit with the introduction of newer units. You now need a lot of knights built and you pick them in like... Um, you just can't pick a one fit all night anymore. Each one is going to have a specialized role. So if you're a knight enthusiast, if you're a tankier player, um, start getting them all kind of ready. And they're going to sp pick specific roles for each one or where they will shine best in the matchup. But Valk, overall, you're predicting A, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I think he would be really good. Like, because he's definitely like, because if we think about it this way, right? Yeah. Um, FCC has always just been the like top tier. Uh, I want to play really safe, and I don't know what to first pick. You pick FCC, right? Oh yeah. And with DJ B buff, she, he she's definitely falling out of that slot, which kind of makes other comparable knights better, right? So Troz is going to be slightly better. Ross already, you know, we kind of anticipatorily moved him up the list just a bit, right? Mm -hmm. But with the, like an actual buff. And with a 40% shield, like, he's going to be absolutely nuts. Yeah, 40% of his max health, and which is very significant. Um, okay, anything else, Chad and Valk, on Roz? I'm excited for that one. It's a very minor change, like one line, besides the quality of life S2, but I think it's going to be huge. We'll see how that pans out. Uh, last but not least, we have Momo, which is... Uh, this one, Valk, I didn't even want to put her on the board, but Chad was saying she might... She might have a place in RTA. Remember, this is an RTA list for Guild Wars. I bet you she's gonna be super annoying for new players in Arena Guild Wars. She's gonna be even more solid for y'all. Very accessible, like Roz. Valk, do you predict she'll go anywhere here on our list? Can she I compete? I think she's gonna be somewhere between Akadis and Destina. She'll be like Akadis and Destina. Maybe, in my mind, she'll be like an Akadis where Akadis is more focused on raw healing. A Momo's gonna be more focused on cleansing, right? Because a lot of people are doing is doing this like solitary rope draft where they pick one carry, one solitary, and three support units, right? That, that that thing's never gonna work against a Momo. So there's definitely a case for her being here. Uh and on top of that, right, she's a little bit higher tempo than a Destina when it comes to cleansing. Yeah. So I can definitely see her um like getting some picks. Right, but I, I don't think she'll be picked more than a Destina will be. Yeah, I think she's got to be lower than Destina. I don't like her in the same rank. Chat's actually saying D. A lot of people said D. Um, this is going to be our most probably controversial one, just, bet just between our picks here, or our rank. Chat, so everyone, here's the consensus. Somewhere with Destina, above a Kades, um... Or did you, Falk, did you say above a Kades? Like, like next to a Kades next is, is my prediction. And then some people are saying D. So I think we put her in C somewhere. I, I think so, that's yeah. a okay. This is gonna get spicy for a moment, but that's a player skill diff. Like, a Kades is a hero you're gonna have to know when to draft for her to be amazing. Kades is difficult to run, yeah. I would almost leave her off because a lot of players, even guys, self admittedly, it's hard for me to run a Kades because if you mess up one turn uh, between the skill orders and stuff, you can lose off that. But um, are we all cool with C somewhere, guys? Listen, those of you that want her in D rank, I think you're okay with bottom of C, right? It's fine, it's the same thing. 
Let's just put her in the sea so we don't fight and we all agree on it. By the way, Val, can you highlight real fast what she's getting changed besides the uh, S2 uh, order of the cleanse? What's her S? She's getting something with her S3, correct? It, it's, it's the oh, S3, sorry, I believe. So her S2 gets an additional cleanse. So she's getting like, uh, I'm trying to think, like two cleanse or two cleanse for every teammate every two turns. And the S3 is going to cleanse before it heals, which is, like, massive. Uh -huh. And on top of that, guys, she's going to get a damage reduction passive. One of the runes is going to give her damage reduction. Yeah, 15%. Which is could be relevant for players that don't pick knights and other, uh, you know, damage passives. So, it's pretty good. Okay. I think, Valk, any last words? Thank you again for coming on, my man. Always a pleasure. We'll probably do one after DJB at the end. But I'm glad we did one now. And I'm actually super surprised... By the way, guys, if you notice the order of units, this is a very bell curve-esque. Um, we have the top and bottom tiers with the least, and then in the middle, we get higher and higher. So that should that should show you that it's kind of, you know, not biased. But yeah, yeah any I, last I, I like to try to keep things in relation to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So what I would recommend is like, don't just look at it like, oh, Operator Cigarettes in like A tier. Oh, she's a better hero than like a Katie's. Like, no, no, no. Like, I would like kind of segregate everything by like roles, right? So I, I would say like, if you're just kind of looking at it from a perspective, like if you look at a DPS in A tier, so like Landy in general is probably going to be a safer pick than something like Blue Kisei or maybe even a Remnant Violet, right? So you like fish out all the DPS from the tier list. Fish out all the support units, fish out all the CR boosters, kind of like, kind of process it that way. Yeah, because you're going to have to, guys, you'll have to pick and choose which ones for the playstyle. We kept it very generalist, so obviously there's going to be some nuance, but overall this should help out if you just want to take a quick glance and find out who's worth investing and who's kind of, you know, doing well in the current meta. But things are going to shift massively soon, my goodness. Uh, chat, thank you so much for joining us. YouTube, if you're watching, you'll need to stop by so you can help us make this tier list. You can help place units, argue with the rest of us. And yeah, have a good time. Make sure y'all check out Valk. I'll have his info below. And I'll catch you guys later. Valk, say bye to the people. Yeah, yeah. That was, it's been fun. Thank you again for inviting me. And uh, yeah, good luck to everyone on your end of season climb. Good see luck, you, guys. Bye, everybody.